This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research, and today I want to talk about cash levels at sectors across Asia. The question is how much cash is held at companies in the various sectors across Asia. Now, I've talked about cash levels at a global level and by regions, but now it's time to look at cash levels in each country in Asia by sector. Why is this valuable? Because this will help us if, if we're an analyst trying to forecast the level of cash. Understanding what that sector has as far as cash is concerned in your country versus other countries, then that will help you to think about when you're building up too much cash in your forecast. So first thing is this study covers about 4,700 companies across Asia, from Pakistan all the way to uh, Japan and throughout all of China. So the whole swath of, China, of companies in Asia that are of reasonable size. Now, <clears throat> here is the results of what I found. Now, I've grouped them. The first grouping is by developed. So New Zealand, Singapore, Japan, Australia, Hong Kong, all developed markets. And we can see that it doesn't really matter whether a market is developed, emerging, or frontier. There's very different levels of cash at different uh, sectors in different countries, at the same sector, sorry, in different countries. So the, high, the cash is highest at consumer discretionary companies in New Zealand, Indonesia, Philippines, and, the ba and Bangladesh. What, what we're talking about in this particular research is just about the consumer discretionary sector. Soon, I'll look at the cash in every sector throughout Asia. But this gives you a guide as you are forecasting the cash levels in your business. If you have any questions or difficulties about that, just let me know. Have a great day.